What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook and today it's all about slice king fish in kitchen fast easy and simple. Be sure you subscribe goodie and turn on those post notification settings so you will never miss another upload. You ready for cook? Let's cook! Okay, my goodies, let's start cooking. Now I have four slices of kingfish here that has been washed with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. Now you want to be sure before you start cooking to pat dry that sliced fish. Get rid of some of that water before you add your salt and pepper. Now you want to do both sides. Just turn it over and add your salt and black pepper on your fish. All right, make sure you do that because you want to give the fish the fish flavor flavor now beside the salt and black pepper I did decide to use my traditional fish seasoning here but of course you could substitute that out for all pepper seasoning or any other kind of a seafood seasoning that you might have laying around in your kitchen and set it aside now moving right along this is what you will need to get the most tastiest sweet and sour fish right here in your kitchen now we're going to use bell pepper and onions and carrot we're also going to add a cup of pineapple juice and some pineapple chunks now this is what you want to do first now with that one cup of pineapple juice you're going to add some soy sauce to it and everything that i'm using for the recipe goodie will be listed down below so make sure you go down there and check it out okay now to that you want to add some vinegar and you're going to add some tomato ketchup you can substitute that ketchup of course for tomato paste now I did go in and add about one and a third cup of sugar white sugar only and I did go in and add some extra paprika give it a good mix like so do not add anything else to it and sit that aside Moving right along in another container, you're going to add about a cup of flour. Depending on how much fish you're going to be cooking, you could add more or less. Now we want to season the flour a tad bit, so I did go in and add some of that fish seasoning to it. A little bit of that paprika to give it some kind of a color. And that was basically it. I went in and gave it a nice little combination mix. Now, y'all, if you want to season your flour a little bit more than I did, you could go ahead and do so. But it was fine with just the fish seasoning and the paprika. It worked perfectly. Now, all you're doing here is just layer your fish. Just tap that flour on there. Okay, you don't want to add anything else besides just this right here. Cover your fish with the flour base and just set it aside and continue to do everything um, to all the other fish now goody a friendly reminder if you are still here watching me cooking be sure that you're subscribed to the second channel life is juliana the link for the channel will be listed down below and for all my vegan goodies you did request that you want all your cooking to be over here so start in january 2021 all our vegan recipes will be here okay And I did notice a lot of new subscribers, a lot of new goodies. I'm so happy to have you here on this gravy train, honey. Thank you for subscribing and trusting and believing in my recipe. I so appreciate you. Now, in a pot, you add generous amount of oil. Make sure that your oil is at least 350 degrees and eat. If not, you're going to have flour, flour, fish. Go ahead and add your fish in. And I did have one scotch bonnet pepper. And I did not pop because you're afraid of pepper. After about five minutes or so, you want to go ahead and turn your fish over. And I think my fire was on medium heat. Wait, you don't want to put it on high heat because you don't want to burn your fish. So medium heat is pretty fine make sure that you don't pop that that thing okay but however after about 10 minutes of frying that is what your fish is going to look like just a nice little golden brown color you don't want to over fry it because you don't want to get all that moisture out on the inside that is perfectly fine 10 minutes of frying total and you are good to go good to go Thank you. 
perfectly done perfectly done go ahead and just continue doing the same step with the other fish the only thing though I did different when I started to fry the other two slices I did eventually remove that pepper from the oil because I don't want it to have a burn flavor the pepper already do it was supposed to do so I went ahead and removed it and gave these two fish a nice little 10 minute total frying and that was it fish was good to go that's what it's going to look like after a total of 10 minutes of frying and then we're going to move along to our next step now in another container we're going to get our veggies together go ahead and add some oil here and then you're going to add some ginger if you don't have fresh ginger go ahead and grab some ginger powder and some fresh garlic give it a good mix with your fire here at a medium heat only give it a good mix and just let that combine for about a minute and a half that's all you need a minute and a half here after a minute and a half you go ahead and you add your sliced onions to it and give it a good stir for about 60 seconds that's all you need here now after about 60 seconds of getting your onions all flavored up with the garlic and the ginger flavor now it's time to go ahead and add your carrots in now after you add your carrot in you're going to give it the same 60 seconds of turning all right with your onions now your garlic and your ginger and your oil just give it a good little flip for 60 seconds top tops okay now you want to go in and add your bell pepper and here I'm using green and red and orange and yellow red peppers because it's going to give this fish a beautiful color and flavor all in a one settings so go ahead and just give it a nice little stir here for also 60 seconds after 60 seconds go in and you had your diced uh, pineapple to it give it a nice little stir as well still with your fire at a medium high heat give it a nice stir again also for a good 60 seconds after 60 seconds you give it flavor with some salt and black pepper honey let's go ahead and sprinkle that in give it a nice little combination mix again for another 60 seconds here all right so everything is just one minute after another minute there you want to go and pour that good sauce that you made earlier all over your vegetables and just combine everything really nice and royal okay just like so just like so goody and I guarantee your kitchen is going to be flawless now in a little container I added about two tablespoons of cornstarch and I added about two tablespoons of cold water to it gave it a good spin like so and dissolve that cornstarch and then pour it out into my sweet and sour sauce batter gave it a nice little mix with my fire still on medium heat it start it's going to start to come together it's going to start to bubble it's going to start to explode in flavor honey and then you want to go ahead and add your sliced kingfish into that mix all right just get that good sweet and sour sauce all over your fish just like this all over your fish now miss a spot and you want to go ahead as well as just turn those fish on the other side too boo because you want to make sure that you get this good sauce that sauce is so good it's smelling so good just go ahead and just turn those fish on the other side just to make sure that they're coated evenly and honey yes this is some good slice fish and i tell you honey the sound the sound goody when matilla said the fish turn up loud enough the fish turn up mad loud all i did 
for presentation was just put some scallion on top of that good good and the thing was good delicious trust me when i tell you this thing had so much flavor my entire house was saying a statement all right now this recipe right here is something that you could eat with white rice rice and peas are just about whatever it is that you so choose however make sure that you're spreading this love with all your friends and family share the recipe go to share the recipe bring them come over here and send them come i'm waiting after you get doing that tell me what you would like to have me cooking next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy